Hello YouTube, it's Rob Maxwell's Grass Cutting Services, based in the northeast of England. How are you doing? Hope everybody's well and having a great day. Um, it's Friday, it's Darius Hall Friday today. It's uh, one of my favourite days on my round. Um, four big gardens, each take probably just under two hours. So uh, by the end of the day, you know you've done a day's graft and uh, you, you look forward to a pint, you know. Um, today I want to talk about customers, you know. And uh, I watch YouTube channels, we all do, don't we? And uh, I watch other gardeners and other tradesmen as well moan about customers. And I think, you know what, I must be really lucky me. My customers, you know, they're really nice and I have no issues. Well, <laughs> I had some issues this week. Um, and I want your advice. What would you have done? Um, about a month ago, um, one of my oldest customers, it's a fortnightly customer, it's a big old lawn and it's awkward. It's got three or four small lawns which make it into one large lawn. And I, I'll tell you, it's a, it's a £50 job. I go every fortnight and it takes me a good two hours. Um, and it was one of my first customers. And it's a good half an hour drive from my home address. Um, but I, there's a few others in that area. So, you know, it, it's, it's not too bad. But it, it, the lawn's awkward. You know, we've all got them, haven't we? Way the, there's lots of strimming because there's rocks and things like that. So it's an awkward one. Um, and the customer said, Rob, um, during June, we'll be going away for a week. Uh, during the half term, so we won't need you that uh, fortnight. So we'll see you in four weeks. And I, and I was a bit disappointed, on it, but I said, right, no problem. Um, and the phone's ringing. Everybody's, everybody who's a gardener watching this, you, you, you know, it's June 2021 and the phone never stops ringing, does it? So I, I filled that two hour spot quite quickly. And I thought, I'll just, just leave it, Rob. Don't make any rash decisions. Um, and I went back after four weeks. Well, we've had the wettest May on record. We've had the warmest June on record. And I don't know about you, but the grass in the northeast, it's unbelievable. It's up there, isn't it? So I went and I got a right shock when I went and I was, I thought, oh. So what turns out to be a two hour job ended up being a good three hours, three hours, 20 and the machines are put under pressure. You're annoyed because you're running behind for the rest of the day. Uh, and I got home that night and um, I messaged the customer and said, look, I said, when I quoted for the job, it's 17 cuts a year. We have a 34 week season from mid March, sort of third week in March to the first week in November, weather permitting 17 cuts. I said, um, if you're going on holiday regularly, I need access to the garden. Otherwise, 17 cuts becomes 14 cuts. And also, trying to get on top of the garden after four weeks, it takes twice as long. And I genuinely thought the customer would have come back and said, no problem, Rob, I'll get my dad to open the side gate and you can have access and just crack on. I understand. That's not what we said. They said, these are the future dates we've got for holidays. So if you can alter your date of coming, that would be great. Well, if I was to do that, I'd have to hold them, alter me all round and mess everybody about. You know, like you say, if I went on a Tuesday instead of a Thursday, you've got eight customers on Tuesday after remove, and it's just not right. So I explained to her, look, I'm in South Tyneside on the second Thursday of me mowing round. It's almost impossible to change it. Um, and if 17 cuts is now going to become 14 cuts, I'm afraid I can't provide the service. You might want to get a gardener who offers more flexibility than I do. And she came back and said, um, Rob, I'll, I'll look for someone else. And I said, I totally understand. Thank you. And that was it. And I thought, you know what, I've put my heart and soul into that garden for three years. Um, well, over three years now, because we've got this season as well. And um, I was quite, not upset, but I was a bit disappointed. In walks my 15-year-old daughter, what's up, tells her the story. She says, Dad, you get emotionally attached to your customers, you shouldn't do that. You're in a business, not a charity. I went, what? Apparently that's what they teach the kids at uh, GCSE Business and Finance Studies. And she's right, isn't she? Um, but what do you do? If your customers go on three holidays a year and it's a fortnightly uh, cut, and then they're away during that uh, 
time when you're supposed to be cutting the grass and mowing the lawn. They go on holiday, but the grass doesn't go on holiday, does it? So I've introduced a new company policy as of today. If you go on holiday, that's fine. But when you come back, if I can't get access during the period when you're away, it's double because you've missed the cut. So if it's a £50 cut, it's £100. If they're not happy, go. I'll get somebody else to replace them. No more emotionally emotional attachment to customers because when this customer said, no problem, I'll get somebody else, I just, right, okay. Um, so that's that. What do you do? Am I being a bit of an arsehole? Am I being too strict? I, I don't know, but... Um, we have a window, don't we, where we've got to make money. And that's 34 weeks. And if we don't make that chunk of money during them 34 weeks to see us over the winter and get us through, well, we're finished. Um, and if the customer goes on holiday three times, that means your 17 cuts, you know, becomes 14 cuts. You're losing a good month's money. Anyway, tell me what you would do, please. Uh, you know, put something in this... Um, in the comments, I like to read your comments, and thanks for everybody who has left comments. Um, yeah, moving on, me still combi, fantastic. Um, I've, I've done a few hedges with it, and what a difference! Um, I've got some footage, I'll put that up next week of me uh, using it. I did a lovely Leyland I hedge yesterday, couldn't get any footage, it wasn't appropriate. Uh, it was a one off customer, the lady kept popping out and talking. and I don't know, sometimes it's awkward to set the camera up and so I, I didn't get that. But um, I wouldn't have been able to, done that hedge, to do that hedge if I didn't have the long reach. Um, I was on top of my old uh, uh, DIY ladders, reaching over and note to self, get yourself some Hendon six feet tripod ladders. Um, if anybody's used them, let me know. But uh, yeah, I think the next investment is a, a set of decent ladders. Otherwise, they'll end up falling over you know um one last thing i want to mention um do you ever get delusions of grandeur in the gardening business i do and i'll let you know what i mean about i've had about 10 calls this year um for requests to cut large areas such as football fields um large gardens that uh, require uh, ride-ons and uh, I got a call yesterday from a very posh lady and she lived in a hall. Now, I won't say the hall because that would be inappropriate. But the first name was, it's not Belsay Hall, but that's Belsay Hall. But it's not Belsay Hall. But big old property. And um, she wanted a gardener to come and uh, cut two acres of grass using a ride-on. Now, I don't have a ride-on. But she left a message about 930 and I was working and I got back to her within the hour. Uh, and, and I rang and I thought, oh, this is intriguing. I'm Normally I just say, look, I'm really sorry, not taking any more work. I'm just so busy at the moment. But this intrigued me. So I rang the lady and she said, uh, it's two acres of uh, lawned area and it requires a, a ride on. She said, but um, thank you for calling back, but I've already engaged with the gardener. And I said, no problem. And she was a bit taken aback. I think she wanted me to say something like, well, have you agreed a price, a contract? Because I'll come up. Well, it's not me. I'm not going to start fighting for work. Um, and I don't have a ride on her anyway. I was just intrigued. Um, so I, I said, thank you very much. And um, the call ended. But then I got thinking. At one point, you go from a 21-inch Honda up to a ride on with that Eye for Will Williams trailer. And how much do you charge for per acre? To, to use a ride-on. And um, there's a YouTube channel where they've got John Deere ride-ons in here. It's an American channel. And he has a piece of land, which is one acre. And he goes up and down. It takes about 40 minutes to do uh, an acre with a, with a John Deere ride-on in this video. And I thought, you know what? At what point do you move up the pecking order to do that? And I've done a bit of research. And, you know, for four grand, you can get a decent second-hand ride-on with about 100 hours on the clock. Uh, for a £1,000, you get a good Ivor Williams trailer. So five grand and you're set up. But, you know, what would be the financial implications of that? You'd need to generate more than that per year. 
um, to make it pay. So if anybody's done that and gone from your 21 inch push behind to uh, the rider, how did you do it? I'm intrigued. Um, anyway, I was mowing my lawns this morning and thinking, Rob, before you start thinking about a ride on, buy your bloody Hendon ladders. You'll end up breaking your neck doing hedges with them rickety old de decorating ladders. Um, and lastly, talking about lawnmowers, I've um, I've sort of nailed it down to, I'm going to go for a still, I think. I say that. I've got to go and see two in Monday at my local dealers. You didn't have any in I want. It's the 6 Series, uh, the 19 inch or the 21 inch. Um, I'm, I'm going to have a feel of them and, you know, just sort of see how heavy they are because sometimes the actual weight of the mower doesn't reflect on how it handles if that makes sense um so i'm gonna have a, a look at them because they do pick up well in the wet and and that's what i'm looking for and it's whether i need a 19 or a 21 i think i'm swaying towards the 19 inch 6 series which uh, has a decent engine uh picks up well in the wet and it's 45 kilograms uh, which isn't light but it's not a big lump of a thing so that's that um videos wise i've got some footage coming out of me using my long reach um i'm busy preparing a, a video about winter i get lots of questions and thanks very much for everybody who sends me questions you know i'm humbled what do we do during winter well it's a video in itself, isn't it? To say, how do you prepare for winter and how do you get over it? You know, them lads in Australia, they've got it good, haven't they? They've got a 48 week garden season where we've got probably a 34, 35 week. So it's tough, but uh, that's coming. So stay tuned, as they say. Um, if you've liked what you've seen, this is me, Rob. I run a gardening business, grass cutting business in the Northeast. It's my journey from where I am now to where I want to be. Come along on the journey please press the like button apparently it helps you grow your channel don't understand but it apparently does so everybody have a great weekend it's friday today uh, enjoy your weekend keep smiling be happy keep earning money because that's what we're here for aren't we we've got to make hay while the sun shines and it's shining at the minute but it won't last forever all the best now take care